Hello, my players. This is your DM, Ed, speaking, and this is the promised third video that is intended to walk you through uh, leveling up 21 all the way up to level 25. And two of you are going to stop there, but then I'll make one final video for those who are maxing out up to level 30. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. And uh, I had mentioned in the last video that things are going to move a little bit quicker because you've done quite a bit of leveling up, so you should kind of get the hang of how this works. So I'm sure you can guess what page we're going to go to first in PHB 1, uh, not 72. I swear. Every time I type in 72 the first time, it goes to, uh, every time I type in 29 the first time, it goes to 72. Don't get it. Anyway, page 29 is this chart, this level up chart. And as before, this is going to be our guide, okay? Now, I do want to remind you that um, you want to get out some scratch paper and make a note of uh, your hit point gain every time, okay? So, uh, so we were using, uh, oh, not cleric, that's weird. Uh, we were using the ranger as an example. So you would go to, you would find this block for your class, take a look at the hit points per level gain and make a note of that gain every single level up, okay? So page 29, to go up to level 21, the first thing you will do is add your hit points. Then two of your abilities, oh, oh, excuse me, all of your abilities, if you take a look at this, all of your abilities go up by one. Okay, so on your character sheet, all six of these are going up by one. Which again, if you bump them up to an even level, that means your ability mod is going to change. Okay, um, so that's the first thing that's going to happen. Plus one to all abilities. Ability score. Okay, um, and then you select your epic destiny feature and well, what epic destiny you want, and then you gain a feat. So let's take a look at the Epic Destinies. Now I had pointed out that when you go past all of the powers you get to Paragon Paths. Well guess what? Mm -hmm. If you scroll past all the Paragon Paths... Uh oh, no Epic Destinies. Where are they? Well, if you go past all the classes you will find the Epic Destinies. Okay, and this, this is like the Paragon Path, it's just there are more than one way into this, so they, they put it here because there are a number of classes that can go to these. Okay, and I encourage you to read up on this because it definitely gives you some ideas about where your character would go as they level up. Okay, um, so Destiny is presented in alphabetical order, they present you with the prereqs, Destiny features, powers, immortality, um, because in general, what you're what you're aiming for when you're that powerful is some sort of immortality, whether it's just to live on in people's minds or actually being immortal. So let's take a look. Um, so let's say you're a wizard, you would look at possibly archmage. You see how like there are prereqs that aren't necessarily for any one class. They they just they kind of lean toward a class, but there are a number of classes that would fit this deadly trickster, for example. Okay, so this is really just a choice you make, and it's going to have to do with um, it's going to have to do with what kind of role playing you want to do with this character. Where, where do you see its story, the the character's story going? Okay. So just for jeeps and grins, let's go ahead and use Demigod as an example. Okay, so the prereq is just level 21. So on your class path destiny features, you would write your choice, which in this case we're going to use Demigod as an example. Okay, and here's some little flavor text to give you an idea of what it's like. Okay, and... Da, 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 da. Here's a little story idea, and then here, hmm, at least one demi I chosen path to ascension outline below. So here is where it kind of outlines some things. So 
just like with the Paragon Path, the demigod features unlock as you level up. So 21st level, you get Divine Spark, and that increases two ability scores of your choice by two each. Okay, and I, I would put Divine Spark in here. Alright, and then you would... Oh, wait, no, you can get that right away. So, yeah, you get the feature at 21st level, and you select a feat. By the way, feats are in Chapter 6 again, and just like there were Paragon tier feats, there are also Epic tier feats. Of course, the prereqs are a bit, a bit uh, harsher, but yeah, the, these are much more powerful. So definitely want to check those out. Okay? So let's go back to page 29. So you bump all of your ability scores up by 1. You add your hit points. You select your Epic Destiny and its first feature, and you select a feat for level 21. Level 22, you leveled up, so add your hit points, okay? And then you select a utility power and a feat. Notice how often we're gaining feats. Isn't that crazy? Um, so let's see here. So you're going to go back to your class this time. All right. Um, character classes. Ah, range of mouse. There we go. Um, so yeah, level 22, utility exploits. Yep, keeps going. So you're going to select one of these, and on your character sheet, that goes right here. All right. Pretty simple. And again, feats. You go to chapter six. Um, some of the other PHBs also have feats. Um, you can take any of them, but I would recommend the epic tier feats. Okay? Um, oh, bookmarks. Alright, so that's level 22. Hit points, gain one utility power, gain a feat. And you'll find that utility power in your class again, not over on Epic Destiny. Uh, level 23, you're going to add your hit points, and you're going to replace an encounter attack power. So you've done this before, but just to show you again, find the, the level 23 for your class, okay? And you're going to select from this, and you're going to erase one of these and replace it with the more powerful encounter here, okay? And so, yeah, hit points, uh, hit points, and replace an encounter attack power. Level 24 we're back to, instead of increasing all of our ability scores, uh, we're, we're back to increasing just two of them by one. So add your hit points and increase two of your ability scores. That's these. Okay. And then you select, uh, you get an additional Epic Destiny feature and a feat. So let's go back to that there, Epic Destiny. We were using Demigod as an example. Okay. Here's Demigod, and um, when we first picked up the Demigod at Destiny, we got Divine Spark, right? Well, then we would add Divine Recovery. The first time you're reduced to zero, you regain hit points, so that's pretty spiffy. Irritating for a DM, but whatever. Um, so yeah, you'd pick that, and you'd select an additional feat, okay? So... Yeah, level 24 hit points, bump up two of your ability scores by one, get an additional Epic Destiny feature, and you gain a feat. And finally, level 25, you're going to add more hit points, and you re replace a daily attack power. So, back in your class, you're going to go to level 25, here's your daily exploits, select one of those, erase one of your existing daily powers, and replace it with one of the more powerful powers. Okay, so you do that, and that's it. Okay, so, and, and then of course in calculations, what you're going to do, uh, you've bumped up all of your ability scores once, and you've, you've bumped up two of them, I believe, twice? Uh, let me double check that, let's see, 21, all of them, oh, just once. So. Yeah, so all of your ability scores have gone up once, and two of them have gone up t 
twice now. All right, so you want to factor that in, figure out your new ability modifiers, which again, you take the score, subtract 10, divide by two, and that's your mod. Uh, also, you're level 25, so your half levels are gonna, are you round down, so those are gonna be at 12 now, okay? And that affects your defenses anywhere that you see this plus half level is gonna change on your attack and everything, your skills primarily use this ability mod plus half level score right here okay and so I leave you guys to make uh, do that work if you have any questions about the epic destinies uh, you wonder if it applies things like that just shoot me a message I'd be happy to field those I, I want everybody to be as prepared as they can be for our very last session and that's that's about it I'm working on building encounters and stuff right now so <laughs> I will speak to you all later.